Hello everyone, welcome to another in Miss Melanie's kitchen. And today we are gonna be making lemon poppy seed bundt cake. So, are you ready? Do you have all your ingredients together? All right, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we have a sifter and we have two and three quarter cups of flour. So I'm gonna pour my flour into my sifter and it's gonna make, when I shake it, it's gonna make some really fine powder and it's gonna get out any lumps that I have. Now to my flour, I'm also gonna add one quarter cup of cornstarch. This is gonna make our flour so that it's gonna be like cake flour because we're making a cake. So we're gonna just sift this together and if you want, you can do it two times. I think today I'll just do it once. Um, so we're gonna add all of our flour. Make sure you have all of your cornstarch, which I have all of that now. And we're just gonna sift that together. It's kind of fun to see. It looks like snow a little bit. So we're gonna just make sure we get all of that. We also have one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. So I'm going to add all of those ingredients also to be sifted. Oh, the salt, there we go. Got it all out. We're just going to sift that all together. And you might notice in the end, you're going to have some little clumps. So that's why we use a sifter. So we're going to just press those down and make sure they all get down. If you have some little ones, you're going to toss those to the side. So your flour mixture, your dry ingredients, is going to be super nice and smooth, okay? So we're just going to set that aside now. And next comes kind of the part of this recipe where it takes a little bit of time. So I don't know if you have a lemon tree at your house, but my parents have a lemon tree, and it is just full of lemons. So I was over there yesterday, and I picked some lemons. Ooh, it's really heavy. I even have more than this but I figured this is a good good amount to get me started so what we're gonna do is the outside of the lemon is called the zest can you say zest zest so we are gonna use a grater in the little small parts we're gonna zest our lemon and you see how I'm quickly turning the lemon around I'm not staying in one spot because once I get to the white part, that part is not so tasty. We want just the yellow part. So this is the part of the recipe where you're gonna just zest some lemons, okay? You might need an adult to help you or an older brother or sister. This could be done when you're bored, when you need something to do, just to zest some lemons. That would be a fun thing to do. Smells really good too. So you're gonna do this to four lemons okay so i've almost got one done so we're going to come back when we have four lemons zested and you're going to keep those lemons don't throw them away because we're still going to use them okay, so the next thing we're going to do after you've had your zest of your lemons zested um also want to make sure you get the inside goodness that's where a lot of it gets stuck. So we have our zest ready, and now we have four lemons that have no more yellow on them. So what I'm gonna do with these lemons is I'm gonna cut them in half, and I'm gonna use our sifter again, and I'm gonna squeeze the juice of these four lemons. So if you have a electric juicer or one where you can put it on and squeeze it, go ahead and do that. I kind of like doing this because I get to use my muscles and squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. So I'm gonna just squeeze the juice from the four lemon. After you have squeezed in all the juice, I hope you used a sifter because if you don't, you're gonna have seeds in your cake. You don't want seeds in your cake, right? That wouldn't taste so great. So I'm actually squeezing one extra lemon because we are gonna use that for a special glaze syrup that we're going to put onto this cake. Okay, so I have a little more than half a cup. I probably have three quarters of a cup, which is perfect of lemon juice that I need. So we're all done. We've got all of our lemons. Mm, my hands smell good. My kitchen smells good. We don't need the seeds, right? 
we'll get rid of those. And now we have just our lemon juice. Okay, so now we are gonna get ready to put all of this all together. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees, and we're gonna let that preheat while we finish working on putting our batter all together, okay? So I have my mixer. You can use a handheld mixer or a stand-up mixer, and you're gonna use the paddle attachment. We also need to get our cake pan ready. So here we have a bunt cake pan, and we're gonna spray that with some um, cooking spray or nonstick spray so that our cake won't stick into the pan, okay? So we got that sprayed nicely. We're gonna set that aside. And next, we are gonna put our cake together so we are going to beat the butter. We have two sticks of butter and they've been sitting at room temperature. So they're kind of soft, but they're not melted. We're going to put those into the mixer and we're going to let those whip up real nice. Okay. It's going to be nice and smooth. So we're just going to let that go for a minute or two. We'll throw away our trash. And we have our flour mixture that's all ready to go. To this flour mixture, we're gonna add our coffee seeds. So here we've got our coffee seeds. We're gonna mix that up because we're gonna add that in a little bit. So we have our flour, coffee seed, baking soda mixture. So our butter is looking really great. It's all smooth along the bowl. I'm going to scrape down the side of the bowl. We have our butter and our sugar mixing together now. And while that's mixing, I'm going to crack our eggs. Our eggs have been sitting at room temperature because if I add really cold eggs straight from the fridge to my butter, it's going to make the butter get all cold again and get in little clumps. And we don't want that. We want the eggs to mix in real nicely. So I'm just going to crack my eggs into a bowl. Now, a trick, if you accidentally get a little bit of shell into your eggs, you can just use another piece of shell to get it out and it'll come right out. I have a teeny little piece of egg shell. So now that's good. And okay, so our butter, sugar is all mixed up really nicely. I'm gonna scrape this down again and then we're gonna add our eggs and the milk. Yeah. So next goes in our eggs. We're gonna pour those in. And then we're gonna let that mix up all together. And we're gonna also add some vanilla. I have two teaspoons of vanilla measured out in here. We're gonna pour that in. Then we're going to put in some lemon juice. So here I have almost like three quarters of a cup of lemon juice. I'm only going to use half of this um, because I'm going to need some for my special glaze that I'm going to make after. So we're going to let this, our eggs keep on mixing. We're going to add all of our lemon zest. Mm, it smells so good. I really like lemon. I hope you guys like lemon. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna scrape down the side again. We're gonna add the lemon juice, half this lemon juice, and lemon zest. So I'm gonna pour all this in there, because we can use all that lemon zest. And I'm gonna pour about half of this in here. All right. I'm gonna mix this all up again. And then we're going to be adding our dry ingredients and milk. So we're going to do dry ingredients, a little bit of milk. Dry ingredients, a little bit of milk. Dry ingredients, a little bit of milk. Okay? We have our last little bit of milk we're going to add to our mixture. We're just going to let it mix until it's incorporated. We don't want to over mix it though. So we're just going to, it's going to be a little thick and that's okay. That's what you want. So this looks great. We're going to take out our paddle attachment and then we're going to pour it into our bunt cake pan, okay? And then we're going to put it in the oven for 
at 350 degrees for about 40 to 50 minutes. So you have to keep an eye on it. I'm gonna set my timer for 45 minutes and I will um, check it after that and see if it's all done. If it gets too brown on the top while it's baking, mom or dad or older sibling, you can put um, a piece of foil over the top of it to prevent it from getting too brown. When I made it last time, it was perfect. Um, and it didn't need to have any foil over it. But it just depends, I think, on your oven and um, how your mixture came together. So I'm going to put this in the oven, let it bake, and then I'm going to show you how to make a special glaze that we're going to put on top. Next, we're going to make a simple syrup. Super easy to make. We have the rest of our lemon juice, and if you want to squeeze a little more lemon, if you have some, you can. I have about two, a uh, half a cup of lemon juice here. So I'm just going to pour that into my pan, and I'm going to pour half a cup of sugar into my pan, and I'm just going to turn the oven or the stove on, and I'm just going to stir that around. So this is something you're going to need mom and dad's help with because you shouldn't be playing with the stove or using the stove by yourself, right? It's hot. And especially since I have my cake in the oven right now, it's really hot. So all we're gonna do is just we're gonna stir this until the sugar dissolves. That means we won't be able to see it anymore. Once that's done, we're just gonna let it chill out and we're gonna wait until our cake is all done and then we're gonna get to pour this special simple syrup all over our cake so it's gonna give our cake even some more yummy lemony goodness. I've taken our cake out of the oven. It has been cooling for a few minutes. It smells delicious. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna take just a little knife and kind of loosen the edges just to make sure that when I turn it over onto the plate, it really doesn't stick. I also do another little trick. I kind of just make it go up and down and then I know it's really gonna come out. So I have a cake pan here or a plate. And all I'm going to do is just lift up and let it go down. Flip it over. And hopefully, yay, it's all in one piece. It looks beautiful. You can still see the steam coming off a little bit. So remember that um, simple syrup that we made with just lemon and sugar, uh, lemon juice and sugar? We're just going to pour that over. And it's going to drip down the edge and it's going to soak into the cake just to give it an even more lemon flavor. So it depends if you like it a little more lemony or not. When I've made it before, I don't add the simple syrup because I like how it tastes just how it is. But this time I'm going to try it with it. So we'll see how it goes. You know what? As I was looking at this, what it kind of looks like a volcano-ish. And since this week we're studying about dinosaurs, what a fun thing to make. Thank you friends for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Go out, do something fun, stay safe, and wash your hands. All right, bye.